Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to customize your GNOME desktop. Now I will show you some simple GNOME customization with complementary colors. But before that we need to enable some repositories since they are important for some installations. So enable them and reload, wait for the cache to refresh and complete. Next get a new GTK theme. So for that open browser and search for GTK themes. There you have the first link from gnomelook.org. Now if you move down and head over to the next page or I will just provide the link in the description you can click from there. You will get this Valerian theme. From here you need to select the Molten Steel theme which will provide a dark background with blue, bluish dark and the front one having like orange color. So it is a complementary theme. Now next we need to get an icon. So search for the reversal icon theme. There we have it. Click on download and Let's select the default one. You can also choose some different color. For example, I've shown in the first part that I've used blue. So you can go for blue from here itself. Uh, because I think that yellow was looking too much gaudy in comparison to the background color. Next, open the file manager and we need to create two folders inside the home directory. That is .icons and .themes. Now they will store all the theme and icon uh, themes that we are going to install. So open the icon or the themes that you have downloaded. So first I'm opening the themes and head over to the previous place where you created the two directories that is dot themes here and drag and drop this into the folder just for extracting it. That's it. Done. Now let us head over to dot icons and we're going to do the same thing with the reversal icon back. Select all and drag and drop. Now we need gnome tweaks for installing these themes or applying them. Installing is done. But along with gnome tweaks we are also going to require some other packages so let's install them also so we're going to need conkey let's go for jq curl lua 5.4 that's all these are all the things required for close box 73 conkey whatever we are going to install oh and we forgot to install gnome tweaks so let's go for that and done now let us open the tweaks application there we have it now head over to appearance inside themes you will get this valerian molten steel but you will notice one thing here let us apply the icons before that so reversal dark and what i notice here is that we don't have any form of noticeable shadows in this theme so if you want shadows along with this theme uh, you can also do the changes inside the gdk files i'm also going to show you that just open the file manager head over to the home directory Control h will reveal all the hidden files now go to dot themes and there we have inside gdk 3.0 we have gdk.css now you will find that no files no lines are over here now we are going to type down something for changing the decorations and adding some shadows but uh, i made made some mistake here that is i wrote their decoration so i've i've made that okay later now let us change to something else and rechange it back to the theme so you can see that the shadows are now visible over here. But I don't think that the shadows look very much attractive. But anyway, it is good to have them. Uh, later, if we turn on a different um, extension that we are going to install, it seems that the shadows get disabled automatically and a minimal amount of shadow becomes visible there. Now we need to get a matching wallpaper with that. So since we are going for blue and orange, it's best to have some um, images that are color graded with orange teal LUTs. I did not find usable images on pixels. I mean, they are good, but I guess this one looks more appealing and attractive and it goes better with the theme that I have installed. Now open the file manager, head over to downloads and right click to set it as wallpaper. Looks great. And it also goes with the current theming. I mean, the color looks almost perfect for example the one that is highlighting the home currently it looks very good and goes with the current background wallpaper now head over to display settings uh, for just for opening the settings app now head over to appearance and let us turn off panel mode but before that let me just turn down the icon size because i guess it looks much more minimal with smaller icon size there so open chrome and open a browser and head over to gnome shell extensions now we need a new extension that is the shell theme uh, in order to change the current shell theme of GNOME. So you need to install a browser extension for that to apply it. So click there, add to Chrome, add extension, done. Now refresh the page. Now if you get this error, it's no problem. 
just open the terminal and install this package that is chrome gnome shell refresh the page over here you will find that the extension works perfectly now turn on user themes now if you head over to tweaks app you will find that the option is enabled for applying the shell theme just to make it look a little bit more com consistent so open appearance there we have the shell theme here apply done now turn off panel mode which will turn on the dock mode now we are also not going to keep the dock till the end hence i'm going to remove that at last now let us get the con key theme so just type close box 73 github and to get the file from there or i will provide you the link in the description you can also click there and directly download his theme there is the link okay there is a weird gap in the left part because uh, that dock is not set to minimize automatically but we can change it always now head over to leonis move down and you will get this shell yak shell yak theme so get the dark theme go to download choose the dark edition download that looks good open the file now we need to extract them inside the folder that is inside dot config slash con key now if you don't have that folder you need to create one name it as con key open it and drag and drop now the backgrounds shadows do look distracting for me at least so i will enable a new extension later so don't worry about that now head over to settings and let's make some changes inside appearance again so let's turn on auto hide dock which will make it better for us to work in full screen yeah that looks nice inside the con key you will find fonts install the fonts in order to make the con key work perfectly so first we have feather and next we have another font that is able or able whatever install and done now it is okay to start the con key but before that remember to install all the dependencies whatever i have shown you previously dot slash start dot sa great but there is a problem we have a black background which we don't need so for removing that just open the dot con file and make the following changes inside argb visual that's it save and done looks good i forgot to install mpt mpt will also be required for the media management inside the con key so install that wait for a few seconds and that's all the installation is complete now open chrome or the web browser whatever you want to use open gnome shell extension and let us install some other extensions whatever we need so sort them by now let's go for rounded corners that is basically rounded window corners now if you see that when we enable the rounded corners all those extra shadows get removed there is some amount of shadows in the background it's not completely bland but it does get removed up to a great extent which looks much more clean for just perfection is also required to be installed for a more minimal panel now i don't like the floating panel that it is done because of an extension but if you want that floating panel to be there you can just search and enable it now i'm going to disable it by the end of the video for the weather update that will be shown by the con key itself you need to set the location inside scripts so you if you open scripts you will find this weather file that is there just open and you will find that link if you open the link and search for your place for example in my case it is kolkata if i search for it inside the url itself you will find a code that you will get more like an id if you copy that id and paste it over here it will give the location accordingly and the weather reports now you need to make some changes in just perfection so let's open gnome shell extension web page and head over to the settings so what we are going to do is that we are going to change the location of the panel to the bottom part and a bit more changes need to be done we are going to remove the dock from the bottom part that will make it look a little bit more clean and next we are going to install arc menu now in arc menu if we set it there we also need to change the icon that is appearing here so change it to something else whatever you feel like i'm using this one Now one more thing that I forgot to say is that remove the icons from the desktop. If you want a more clean desktop experience, so right click or just set the icon settings for desktop and open it and disable this option. That will do all the work. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.